Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I'm gonna show you an easy way to remember all 27 bones of the human hand. Now, what you can see here is I've drawn up the hand and you can see I've divided the bones up into the carpals, which are basically our wrist bones, our metacarpals, our proximal phalanges, intermediate phalanges, and distal phalanges. Now I think the best place to start is at the most difficult point, which is trying to remember all of the carpals. And there's eight carpals you need to remember. There's a mnemonic that helps you remember these eight carpals. And we break these eight carpals into two rows, okay? The bottom row, which is made up of four carpals, and then the row above that, which is made up of another four carpals. So here's the mnemonic you need to remember. It is sum, lovers, Try, positions, that, they, can't, handle. That's a good mnemonic to remember. Some lovers try positions that they can't handle. Now, go to one, two, three, four, draw a line here, and these first four are gonna be the most proximal of the four carpals, and then the next are gonna be the most distal. So basically that's the bottom row, and that's the top row of the carpals. All right, what does S stand for? S stands for scaphoid. L stands for lunate. T stands for triquetrum. P stands for pisiform. And now what we've done is we've identified the first four in the bottom row of the carpals. The next one, T, is for trapezium. Then trapezoid. Then capitate. And then hamate. I like hamate because it actually looks like a little hammer. There's the hamate right there. Okay, so what we've done is there's the bottom row, there's the top row, and again, if we were to break these up so they don't look like there's some discernible rows there, but like I said, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we've got some lovers try positions that they can't handle. And they're the carpals, eight of them. Now when we look at the metacarpals, it's easy. We have five fingers, five metacarpals. When we look at the phalanges, we've got a proximal, intermediate, and distal row of phalanges. And because we've got five fingers, you'd think, well, five, 10, 15 phalanges. But in actual fact, we've only got 14 phalanges. One is missing. Now, how do we know which one's missing? Well, firstly, we have a look at that shortest finger that we have, and how do we remember which one, the proximal, intermediate, or distal it's missing? Well, it's the intermediate, and the way I remember is intermediate is the middle child. We always forget about the middle child, and so one of the intermediate phalanges, that middle child is forgotten. And so instead of having 15 phalanges, we have 14. And like I said, we have five metacarpals. If you add eight to five to 14, you get the 27 bones of the hand.